Alright, what's up guys? Boombox Studios here. So today, my webcam is not on because I have other YouTube projects going on in the background. And I don't really want you to see those early. Anyway, today we're going to be talking about Windows uh, POS Ready Embedded 2009. So this is really a uh, kind of unknown system uh, OS. But it's based off XP, and it was the last OS Microsoft made based off XP. So basically, when XP went out of support in 2014, uh, people started hearing about uh, embedded POS Ready 2009, because it was just like XP, and its support ended in 2019, so everyone started switching over there. But today, we're going to be talking about, was it really worth it to, and what were the major changes? So this is not a fresh copy of Windows XP I have here. Uh, you can see this is me. Let me log in. So you can hear that. That's my custom startup sound to see if that copies over when I update it. You can see I have desktop icons moved around. I have these installed. I have um, the tiny start menu. And uh, when you open a window, it's um, colorful at the top. And then when you open a new window, it also looks different in the background. See. So so I want to see if all that copies over to POS Ready. So what I'm going to do, devices, uh, optical drives, where is it? POS Ready 2009 CD. So it should be loading in right now. There we go, POS Ready. Open folder to view files. Uh, where's setup? Uh, setup, Microsoft Setup Wizard. So I actually don't know. Oh, okay, so you cannot open it in Windows. All right, that's different. So I guess we got to go restart it. I wonder if it'll ask for like to boot from this key, push this key, or you know what I mean. I wonder. So let's see. 6.1. Yeah, so we want to boot from that. Just make that bigger. You can probably see my YouTube videos in the background. <laughs> because I chose the section of uh, what to record. It's a new feature that I'm learning about in Bandicam. Press any key for command prompt. I do not want command prompt. So there we go, setup is initializing. Windows Embedded POS Ready 2009. Welcome to the blah, 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 blah. So this was really made for like ATM systems or businesses. It's not really made for the public. So that's why uh, most people uh, thought it was pretty boring. Um, Oh, right, I gotta get the product key. Let me just get that off. Internet Archive quickly. History. Let's see. Internet. Embedded POS ready. There we go. You can steal the product. Actually, you're not gonna be able to see the product key uh, right now, but there we go. Let's go back to XP. There we go. Oh, I can't just. Okay. Uh, KFF 8R. You can steal this. I don't care. T M H F four, uh, and another cool thing about this OS is it it is an evaluation copy. But the thing about this evaluation copy is that it is not um, a time evaluation copy, which is something I've never seen by Microsoft. So I'm very proud of them for releasing uh, at least one uh, that is uh, not. Uh, a time evaluation, so you can keep it forever, uh, but it is an evaluation for whatever. My name's EO. Sure, my name's EO. Uh, and then you can choose your business settings, whatever you want. I don't need anything. Partition 1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to install it on here, but not overwrite. This volume uh, will erase all data. Oh, you can't upgrade. So what did people do back then? when they wanted to. That's weird, I did not think about that. I didn't think about that. Oh, so I don't know that. I didn't know that. Oh, wow, okay. This is, so all that work that I did to com like format that OS had nothing to do. All right, next. All right, you need to, also you need to put in a password because it's a business and um, it needs to be very secure, so. I'm just using uh, capital H, hello, ex two exclamation points afterwards. That seems to work. Uh, so I'm using that. Sure, I don't care. 
that's the company I work for. Did you know? Yeah, EA, whatever. Yeah, and it tells you all your stuff. Then it installs. It kind of looks like XP's, but there's way more things here. And it has the Windows 7 logo. So that's something. And it's formatting. There it goes. We Yep, there are. And the cool thing about Embedded, it doesn't come with any programs like Paint or whatever. Because remember, it's for like ATMs and it needs to be really light. Because who's going to put a 4 terabyte hard drive in an ATM? So the actual storage only takes up one gigabyte. And that's really not a lot for, uh, you know, an OS. You can also choose the option where it's only 400 megabytes. That's just insanely low. So that's pretty good about, uh, so that's pretty good about it. If you want a light OS and you don't have that much space on your hard drive, get POS ready. You just need to be ready to do a secure, uh, password. Um... This is what I'm actually going to install. I'm getting an external hard drive soon so I can bring like a not so great laptop with an OS that I don't have files on and just bring that and put it in my caddy and if I'm traveling I can use and grab a laptop that doesn't really matter that much to me or doesn't have great specs. Just plug my secondary hard drive and boot from it and I'll I'm going to run POS ready on it because it's like XP and XP literally runs on everything <laughs> and um uh nope don't boot um and it it's it's very low and i have a 320 gig hard drive and i think that'll be just fine for pos ready <laughs> also yeah it says xp everywhere if did you see that on boot it said xp and at the top it said xp there i think that's a little weird and this is the first boot first boot agent it takes a minute because you know it's the first boot sorry just for my water <laughs> But there it goes, it's doing all its first boot things. Uh, it shouldn't take long because, you know, it's like only like uh, one gig or a thousand megabytes or something. Um, but yeah. You know, I'm going to stop the video for now just because it might take a while and then I'll get back to you. Wait. Alright, so it's been like... 10 minutes the first boot agent is still running but I'm ju I am just wanted to pop in and say I feel like the uh, POS ready would be great to run on MacBooks because it's so open and has basically drivers for anything like drivers for ATM that's kind of cool um, but I would expect like um, MacBooks to run it amazing and I don't know that could be a little simple thing I don't know I'm gonna get back to you when it's done doing its boot thing <laughs> alright just wanted to pop in and say that also, another thing I want to show you, uh, I'm not really supposed to show you right now because, you know, uh, I'm, I have my camera off for a reason, but I installed a security camera in uh, this room. Hope you can see that there. I don't know if you can. But, uh, hello, it actually doesn't pick any of my video up, so that's good, but hello, I got the security camera. It's my old webcam that I had, and, uh, oops kicking things um but i just hooked it up up here and it uh works fine i mean it doesn't need to look great i mean there's a little bit of light glare from my light that's shining but besides that i mean it's great but yeah i just wanted to pop in and say that too all right guys finally that freaking thing went away the first boot agent finally it went away but uh yeah we're booting back into this is not xp it's um what, the long name one, POS Ready 2009 uh, Embedded. Gosh, it's such a long name. Come on, boot. There we go. And the one thing you can't get rid of is this little evaluation copy watermark. But don't worry, it's not a time evaluation. It's just the. Ah! Oh, just realized the first boot agent's back. Dang it! Alright, I'll be back. Okay, guys, it's restarting. Hopefully, uh, we don't get that boot agent again. If it does, this clip is ending right now. <laughs> well, if I see the boot agent again. I really don't want to meet it. Also, you notice it doesn't say copyright 2003 or whatever it says down there. Normally on XP, it just doesn't have a date. And the freaking boot agent. You know, I'm going to wait it out because it says installing components, and I know that should not take long. Also, I don't know if 209 is the model number or that's when it was released. 
I'm guessing that's when it was released because it had to be around in 2014 because that's when XP went out of support and then that's when people found out. So I'm guessing that's the year, but I know early uh, later versions 7 just went out of support. But there is, if you want 7, they also have a Windows Embedded POS Ready uh, 10, 11 or something. And it, um, it is going to run out of support in 2022 or something. So if you want two more years of Windows 7, it looks, it's an exact copy of 7, just like how this is an exact copy of XP. So yeah. Alright guys, I'm back, and it's in Embedded, so I don't know... Okay? Okay? I'm gonna, I, do I really need to type administrator? Oops. Admit... No, do I really? Every time? What? Did I spell administrator wrong? I swear, that's gonna be embarrassing. Admin. That looks. I don't know how to spell administrator. Ah! I need to. I really need to look up how. This is sad. How to spell administrator. Okay. This is so dumb. Sorry, I'm bad at stuff. Alright. No, I think I spelt it right, yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, no, I was spelling administrator wrong. Alright. There we go. Obviously... Ooh, nice! Oh! That's a nice theme. You know what? That's better than Luna. That looks really nice. What is this? There's small. Oh, that me that just changed the background. <laughs> All right. What is this appearance called? Embedded style. I like it. Oh, there's only one color scheme. And you can't choose Luna. You know what? I really like that. Are there... Oh, there's not... Exclaim. Go away. Go away. No, I don't care. What's exclaim? Is it literally just... Okay. <laughs> Bullet? Ugh. That, that's not... Go back to the POS logo. There we go. That's nice. None? Okay, that's just... Yeah. Um... You know what? I really are there any special screensavers? Please tell me there are. Dang it, just XP. Anyway, but yeah, that's a really nice theme. Anyway, but here's the verdict that I'm talking about. Do you want to get this? It, let's say it's 2014, XP's down to support. I only have an XP computer. It's telling me to update to 8.1. I can't. I have an old computer. It won't let me. I need Windows Embedded POS ready. I upgrade. Now we're here. Is it worth it? All right. So, looks like we still have d automatic updates. That's great. And because XP wouldn't have automatic updates anymore, it wouldn't find any service packs. Still has Security Center. That's great. I love this. Sorry, I, re I really like this um, thing. That Yeah, that looks just like XP without the picture. Uh, okay. That's a big no. There are no programs. You got internet, IE. All right. That's yep. That's nice. That's IE. But <laughs> this is it. I yep. That Notepad is your fun program. No paint. No nothing. You got this. You got that. There's nothing in accessibility. Explorer. Nothing. Notepad. Startup. Internet. So basically what this is, I have, I can, I'm not going to give it away, but I'm making a video on it soon. It should be in the big frenzy of videos I'm posting today or tomorrow, I'm not sure. Um, I have something with CE on it. This is basically what it runs. It comes with nothing. It comes with Internet Explorer, Notepad, and Windows Explorer. It doesn't even have any of this. So this is pretty crazy for embedded. 
So is it worth it? If you de like saved all your programs and stuff to a flash drive or whatever, yes, it's worth it. You can do that. But as you can see, I can connect my flash drive to it. There you go. It found the flash drive. There you go. Great, 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 great. Love it, love it, love it, love it. That installed way faster than XP. Already you can see it takes up way less RAM than XP because this took forever on XP for me to install all the stuff. Oh! Okay. There's no media player. This is a wave, or that's a, yeah, that's a MP3 file. And then this is a wave, and this is a uh, wave too. Yep, startup.wave. It does not have a, okay. That's a big no no. Also, MPEG, yeah, can't do that. You could probably install one, but like, who, it can view photos. I don't remember seeing picture viewer, but it can view photos. Um, it can do, it can install programs, obviously. I mean, that would be bad if it couldn't. We can install, uh, stuff. Yep, we can install this. Install. I don't care that much for, I mean, I care about Pyro, so I don't care about it on the system right now. Um, here, see a monkey. This is a browser. Let's see if we can download a player. Um, okay, let's see. This took a really long time on XP already. Way faster than XP. It's still taking a while, but it's way faster than XP. XP took a while to extract this. So that's that's a good. That's good. That's good. You know what? This is a CE uh, game. I wonder if it'll open it because it's on an it's an embedded system. I don't. I wonder if it cares if it's compact or not. Next. Yes. Uh, no, it is not CE. All right, all right, it does not like that. <laughs> um, C monkey next. I accept. Yes, yes, yes. Let's see if we can download a player off C monkey. C monkey is a good browser, by the way. It's uh, it's uh, basically Mozilla Firefox, but before Mozilla was around, and they still are working on the project. Anyway, you should go get it, and it works. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I don't care. I don't care. Whatever. All right. Can it go to Google? Yes, it can. All right. Download. Ah, what are you typing in? No. Download me. Yeah. Player. Free media player. Real player. Okay, real, pl real player is good. We can download this. Yes, I want. Download. Thank you. You're welcome. Where is it? Where are my downloads? Where do you find the download? Oh, it's still loading the page. Okay. So it takes a while to download, yet everything else is faster. That's weird. It's out of from Firefox. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, see, it thinks it's Firefox. It's by Mozilla, guys. Hey, you should really go get it. Whatever, I'm going to stop talking about it. Um, transferring data from Matt Hag. Okay, this is not the right site. <laughs> uh, we're getting off this. We're getting off this site. This is not real player. VLC media player. Sure. Oh, that's soft tonic. Get out of here. Get out of here. They never have the right versions. Get out. I don't want you. Soft tonic. Can you download? Ah, forward. There we go. Can you download like download Windows Media Player? All right. It's also Softonic. I don't care anymore. Uh hum. So we're just going for it. Come on. Yeah, it, it's a slow connection because it's through a VM. Whatever. Um, download. All right. This version has tabs. That's good. That's another thing you couldn't get in IE back. I I know you had tabs in IE. In XP, I think. New program? Oh, Sea Monkey. I, I thought it was like um, safe mode of Sea Monkey. Uh, come on. See, this is why I hate Soft Tonic. It takes forever to load, and then sometimes you don't even get the thing you want. New Player 12. Oh gosh, it may not support it. Ah, Microsoft official homepage. That's not helpful. See, this is what Soft Tonic does. Okay, I'm gonna get back to you when I have an actual file. 
All right, the internet was too slow over the VM, so I got Real Player set up over my computer, put it on the USB, because I'm running this off a USB in my computer and just using the allow function through whatever. Welcome to the... What the heck is this? Oh, right, I downloaded it off this website, because your download is complete. Cool, open, Real Player. I downloaded it off Astro website, because the latest one that works is... Uh, blah, 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 16, so. Thanks for downloading. You're welcome. Watch, share, and save. Thank you for downloading. Oh, no, it's loading this page. No. That, that, that thing did nothing. That, oh, my goodness. This freaking, that's no good. Don't get from astro.com. Literally, it's an EXE that opens a web page. How useless is that? Oh, what is this? They're promoting their own. No. 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 Get off. Close tabs. Go away. I don't want you. Go away. Alright. This is the website I want. It did not. How do I. Downloads? Where's downloads on this thing? I have not. D D D D D D. I don't see downloads. Is it print? Why would it be under print, Leo? Uh, <laughs> never, I've never downloaded stuff on here before. So edit, view, go, bookmarks, tools, download manager. That sounds yeah. I didn't download anything, eh? I try again. Get the app. You get the app. Come on. I want to work. You can get real player on Fire TV? Okay, yeah, this is not downloading. Anyway, but you can you, you get the point. You can get media players on it. It just doesn't come with one. Has the recycle bit. This theme looks amazing. Anyway, but so is it worth it for someone that doesn't know much about computers, wanted to upgrade and be safe, and is a home computer? Absolutely not. Because if they forgot to grab their files, they're done. Um, also, it's just not made for home users. Obviously, you saw it doesn't come with any fun programs, not even paint. So, you know, this is just not worth it. I would say it's not worth it. I just wouldn't. So, um... That's my verdict of it. You might have a different one. So, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.